Hi everyone, Amy Love here, here to share with you my latest doily book, which I'm so excited. I haven't made a doily book in a while, and I just love them so much. I decided to make a Tilda one because, you know, Tilda's probably my favorite, and I don't think I've ever made a Tilda um, doily book. So I was like, why? So I did, and you can see it's just... <laughs> It's full. It's a little fluffy, but all doily, all good doily books are, aren't they? So here is the front, and that's one of my favorite uh, Tilda images. Are those two, those two friends? I just think they're so cute. But I will tell you, um, all of this um, fluffy, beautiful pleated tulle trim. I got from Angel Dream Crafts, but I think she's out right now, but there's more on the way. So by the time you're seeing this video, there could be some available. And I, of course, will put the link below to the shop. Um, this beautiful trim I used around the image is also from Angel Dream Crafts. I do believe this I cut off of a trim from her also. And these leaf appliques are hers too. This beautiful flower, I believe, was made for me by Siobhan. Thank you so much. I love it. And I've been hoarding it, but I found the per perfect project for it. I dangled this beautiful pink rhinestone heart charm right there using some pink eyelash. I used my favorite dangle from Angel Dream Crafts to kind of fluff from underneath the flower. And I had this beautiful applique in my stash that I have hoarded forever that has this beautiful um, ribbon work on it. And I decided I would use it for this. And this is a butterfly from my stash. And this was a little snippet I found in my snippet bin. And I, of course, stickled, stickled it. And then just look. And so let's see what, what layers are on the front of this. I had this. I had maybe a yard of this, and I don't even know where I got it, but I used almost every single bit of it on this doily book. <laughs> and then there's more dangles, and then there's some doilies, and then the dangles on the other side. But I just love how this tulle trim just makes it so fluffy. And I used all the colors of the tulle trim that um, I had, which was the turquoise, the pink, the beige, and the white. So I've tied it together with some pink satin ribbon. And I bound it together with this beautiful pink cotton ribbon. I just think it's so cute. And that makes such a great bow right there. So here is uh, the first two pages. They're very pinkalicious. So over here I made a pocket page with some awesome dangles and some clay flowers hanging off of there. This is a flower I cut off of an applique from Kim's shop. This butterfly is from Kim's shop. And this beautiful pink trim that I actually used on the back of this book in a flower, I'll show you. That's from her shop, too. I used one of my um, Tilda Hart embellishments that I believe I have a um, tutorial on how to make those. They're so super cute. And then in the pocket, I made this little um, Tilda embellishment, which I don't know if it will focus on the image. See, it's just so cute. I love it. So that is um, in the little pocket. And there's like leaf appliques sticking out and some bling, of course. I put a pink doily here on layers of doilies. I love it. And this, I love this pink trim. And that's there and there. And then over here is another one of uh, Kim's butterflies. She is going to be carrying this trim in her shop. That was just out of my stash. Um, we've got some dangles and some flat back pearls and some acrylic flowers. This beautiful, these little white flowers were crocheted by my friend Dennis. Thank you for sharing, Dennis. He gave me a bag full of those when I visited him last year. And I believe I got these bling pieces from Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. Super. And this I cut out of um, one of Kim's pink appliques. And let me see. On this one, is this one? Yes. At the bottom, I have some of the clay flowers from Kim's shop. 
on this beautiful dango from Kim Shop. It's the basket weave dango. Oh, love it. Look how long it is. It's just yummy and gorgeous. And oh, I'm sorry. Look at the sweet little tango image there. She's an angel. She's so cute. And then, oh, I love this Tilda image because she's a little ballerina. Look at her. Super cute. So what's going on here? Is this, I love this trim. I am trying to encourage Kim to carry it in her shop. It has this like flower trim across the top and then a layer of tulle and on top of that a layer of polka dot tulle. I love that lace. I love it. So I have a couple more of Dennis's flowers right here. Uh, some bling, fl flat back bling from my stash. These appliques I cut out of one of Kim's laces. And then um, this bow is from Kim's um, shop. And uh, I added some flat back pearls. And then I just made a flower out of some snippets. And then over here, I used more of that pink trim. I just love it. This is a crocheted flower that I had in my stash that I just don't remember who gifted it to me, but I love it. I've had it for a long time, and I put it on top of this blue um, doily that I think I may have gotten the blue doily from Sierra, but I, just, I don't remember. You know, I'm so bad at that. But I added flat back pearls around the edges, and then look at that adorable image. She's adorable. And this butterfly is from Kim's store. This blue applique, I have hoarded this blue bridal applique forever. I believe it was gifted to me by Paula. Thank you, Paula. I love it. And I've had it for a long time. And this was the perfect project for that. And then this bling, I believe I got from Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. I love it. It's so full. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. All right, so this more of that lace that I love that I know Kim will carry eventually. Then there is a butterfly applique. I added some of these rhinestone, these rhinestones, which Kim does carry them in the shop. I love them. This is one of her butterflies. This is her lace. And um, I cut apart one of her laces uh, to put these flowers here. And then I added some uh, flat backs I had in my stash. And then I added this adorable um, Tilda charm I created with the same image. Right there, isn't it cute? So cute. And I put um, a layer of lace um, on top of the tool here. And then this is another pocket page that I made with this Battenberg piece that I had that Kim said it's like to go over the bottom of a wine glass to make your wine glass pretty, but it made the perfect pocket. So that's what I used it for here. And uh, this bow is from Angel Dream Crafts. And I just um, used a couple of my wooden heart buttons here and some of the this pink trim that I had in my stash and put on that flower. And it's just yummy and cute. And then here is the back, and there is that trim I was talking about. I cut it apart and stuck it into this flower applique and then used some of her leaf appliques in there on top of a doily, on top of layers of lace to make a big, beautiful flower on the back, and I stuck in a piece of my bling from my stash. And I love it. <laughs> I love doily books so so much. I mean, they're so fun. Look at them. They're it's just beautiful. I love how it turned out. I would love to hear what you think about it. So please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to go check Kim's store for the yummy yummy goodies to play with. And thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you all on the next one.